In addition to the economic uncertainty caused by the coronavirus, a big part of the decision on when to reduce mitigation efforts has to do with knowing who is immune in the first place. Our Dr. David Agus joins us from Los Angeles with new information on that. Good morning to you, David. We, we've been hearing a lot about this antibody test. It's been getting a lot of news lately. So first tell us what kind of test is it and what exactly will it show? So this is a blood test that shows if you have had, in the past tense, coronavirus. So about 50% of people, or up to 50%, who have coronavirus don't even know they have it. They have no symptoms. So it's critical that we get an accurate number of the people in the country who've actually been exposed or had to the virus, and it will tell us if they're immune, if they can't get it again, and they can't spread it to others. So if you have the antibodies, how long are you immune? That's the million dollar question is that we don't know. This virus has only been studied since mid-December. So we don't know out whether it's going to be a year, two years or five years. My gut is if you have enough antibodies in the test, you have at least a year of immunity. After that, we're just going to learn as we go. You know, David, this, this virus does seem to be a moving target. You know, I heard somebody give the analogy, it's like learning to fly the plane while you're flying the plane. Is that a good analogy to describe with what we're dealing with here? Uh, it's an apt analogy, certainly. I mean, this is all new, right? Every virus, when it comes, has evolved, and it's a new entity. We don't know how it behaves. We don't know how to treat it. We don't know how to prevent it. We don't even know how infectious it is. We're learning that it's more infectious than we actually thought. So we're, we're in a new area now that, you know, every time we see a patient, we're learning something about the virus. My hope and prayers are we're sharing all the data so we can all learn together. So the thing about the antibody test, if you get it, you want to test positive because it shows that you've had it. And, and if it, once it shows that you've had it, what, good, what can we do with that information? How will this help lessen things up about when we can go back outside again? Well, it's a critical test. It's a test where there are now many available, but most of them across the country that are available are not very good. So it's critical that don't get one yet. The new ones that should work well, we're told, will be out later this week. But it says whether you can no longer get the virus and you can't spread the virus. So this is going to be a certificate of immunity, if you will, where you can go back to work without worrying. You could be exposed to somebody with the virus and not worry about catching it. You can care for somebody with the virus and not catch it yourself. That's critically important when we do policy in the United States. Yeah, and this also sounds like a test everybody should get, since you can have the virus and not have the symptoms, correct? It's not should get, will get. We have to test the whole country in order to open the country. You have to know your status so you can know how to behave and you can know your own risk factors before we open up the country. All right. Thank you very much, Dr. David Agus. Thanks.